as Matt Lindstrom stopped by to visit with the coach and talk about his big league experience and what he'll be doing over the offseason. Sit back and enjoy this interview with Matt Lindstrom. Coach is on the road as we're drawing. <laughs> coach is on the road as we're drawing near to the end of the major league season. And I got the man here, Matt Lindstrom. Well, how we doing? How you doing, Coach? Good uh, to see you. Well, we're coming to a close of the Major League season. I mean, what, what is the emotional feeling seeing that the uh, family's about to break up for Yeah, while? it's, it's kind of crazy. We joke in the clubhouse sometimes uh, about the season that's about to end. We tell the guys, hey, you can choose your own friends here in a couple of days. So, you know, it's um, being, being together so much throughout the season. You know, we start February 11th and then... You know, now it's September 26th, 27th. Uh, it's a long time, but, uh, you know, not too much is mentioned about chemistry and big league clubhouses, but, uh, you know, I think we got a pretty good group of guys here. And, um, you know, I think uh, there's a, the fans should be excited for next season. We got a lot of good guys in here and a lot of talent. So, you know, obviously it didn't end the way we wanted to, um, but, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of good things in store. So when that last game is played, what does a major league player do? They just exhale like it's over. Yeah. You take a deep breath. What do you do? Yeah, a little bit. We go home and visit our families and just try to catch up and tell stories and stuff like that. Uh, go fishing. I like to spend some time outdoors. Do other things besides baseball. But you know, it is kind of a kind of take a deep breath and reflect on what happened and the good and the bad and kind of try to see how you can get better. Yeah. And then, you know, a lot of fans don't realize you got them aches, pains, sore bunions, all that you just got to let heal. Yeah, that's true. You know, I think the biggest thing is uh, some of the guys, their feet hurt from being on them all day long, from practicing and playing and stuff like that every day. But, um, you know, it'll be nice to kind of push the reset button and, uh, you know, go back to work here in a month or so. Okay, and then you uh, say take about a month off and it's back to everyday condition? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it usually take about three, four weeks and then uh, get back at it. Um, you don't want to take too much time off. Uh, it's just harder to get back in shape. So that's what I like to do and it's worked out for me so far. And outside of the team, the family spot, you know, I coach college ball, so I know about that bond that takes place. Yeah. So you call it the family in reality. Outside of the family breaking up, you got a few partners that's leaving the game, and A-Rod and Canerco. Yeah. Do you reflect back on those two, John? You know, this, those guys have meant a lot to the game, uh, especially Paul, you know, playing with him the last couple years here, to see what kind of respect he demands from the fan base and what he's done for this organization. It's pretty pretty monumental and um, you know he deserves all the credit he gets. I know he's pretty laid back and, and kind of diverting the attention from himself but uh, you know he's great. He's great inside the clubhouse. He's been a heck of a player and we all admire him and look up to him and you know it's kind of bad. I don't want to say it's bad for the game but uh, it's just it's kind of sad for the game I guess that uh, someone like Paul's done playing but um, you know you know the game's going to go on and you know I'm sure Paulie will with his life and you know uh, there might even be a chance to jump back, jumps back into the game here shortly. So we'll Maybe see. Maybe a coach. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Well, the coach take you youngsters behind the scenes, and I want my my TV audience to know win, lose, or draw. Matt Lindstrom has always been a class guy to the coach. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. All right, it. Appreciate All right guys. Thank you. All right.